<laughs> oh my god, what's he doing? <laughs> oh no. Rip. I think it's the sausage curves. But what actually happens is my TV decides to switch off. So it's on power saving mode at the moment, so it's got a countdown. So now I'm looking for my remote. If you notice, I'm looking around. <laughs> I can't believe how funny this looks actually. I'm looking around for my remote. So obviously it's very off putting. I then run slightly wide at Lesmo 1. Uh, again, I'm back on track. Again, I'm looking around as we accelerate. A86 gets past me. <laughs> and then we continue on. See, so it's probably not the uh, situation we we're expecting. I finally see the remote. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know how I get this on track and racing. I'm still in third after grabbing the remote. So now this has just gone drastically wrong. And we've suddenly got a load of work to do out of nowhere because I think we're in quite a tough position. My wheel can bust here. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that was really bad. Really, really bad. Oh no! Just been mugged. Absolutely mugged. Right, damage is on heavy, so we just need to take it nice and easy. I think people are going to spin and do all sorts. See, that's the lag I didn't want from streaming. Oops, someone's gone flying. Oi! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no. Game over, completely damaged. As we get ready for the race, so I'm surrounded by Ferraris yet again, um, which have been nerfed recently. Um, so after round six, they've been nerfed. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. However, we've got to try <laughs> and compete with them here at Silverstone. I think Silverstone's probably more an Audi track if I had a decent setup. Uh, but even so, as we get ready for the race, obviously the leader dictates when we go. So we wait for Jardia to go. We hear him go. We accelerate. Look at the Ferraris acceleration. <laughs> Honestly, so we go three wide into the first corner and. We get tagged, we try and catch, can't catch it, hits uh, Leon who was on the outside because I had nowhere to go uh, and we've got six damage on the front here and we're going to have to try and join the track with no way of looking to the side so we're using arrows only. Oh my word, has Pasm made a mistake here? Pasm has made a mistake! Pasm has no fuel and he's at the start of the nudge. Oh my word, Pasm has made a colossal error here, should have gone in the pit, hasn't. And he's about to run out of fuel. This is unbelievable stuff here in this race. Uh, that's, uh, who's that? Is it Iceberg going past us? I can't actually tell. It's not actually on the right hand side. Uh, there was Noah. Then Nick Mido goes through as well. Uh, and then coming through his last corner. We're, we're going to do this unbelievably as we head towards the line. My teammate is behind me there, Nostarich. Uh, he gives me a flash as well. But as we head towards the line, I'm hoping this is last lap. Because when it comes up, we find the lap. I realise, I realise, look at this, I'm get some flashing going as well, we won the race with an incredible risk. Uh, but this is the bit where I go, I can catch up to this now, because obviously Ed was slowing me up a little bit, and I wasn't fighting too much because I knew where it was going to go, but look at that, look at where we are, and look at this, oh, <laughs> what a move, <laughs> what a move at the exit of the center S, I love that move, I took the opportunities where I could here. Oh, look how good this is. Oh. Uh, Nissan really pushing through that air really quick, much quicker than the RCZ, to be honest. You can see that gap really shrinking down. Um, watch this. Oh, look at that driving. Manu Rodri well played, um, I just love the fact that I can race with guys like Manu Rodri and literally side by side in the 130R, so close, so clean, just what racing. Attempt number two, guys. I'm back again. 
I don't even know what causes this. Hopefully it's working now. Woo! We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Right, guys. Um, oh, let me just say that. Um, let me just close everything down and let me sit in the chair of good fortune. No, it's not a good chair of good fortune. We haven't won a race this year, I don't think, in FIA. Um, let me sit down. And um, I've not done much practice for this, guys, I will be honest. Um, I've done no race practices at all. Um, I have done some time trialing. Done about an hour and a half, maybe. I did half an hour the other day and about... 45 minutes today ish <sighs> but it's, uh, yeah it's nothing for a race uh, this is going to be all about penalties of course hey by the way hey. if you don't know we have a discord check the description boom mini madness oh my word I love that intro I made 5 hours work for 2 minutes but wow it was worth it Use the long boy, I'm not touching nations. <laughs> not touching nations, me. You on about you, eh? Bugla, hello. Actually, I haven't done my shout outs, have I? Apologies, guys. Let me just go all the way back up. Vagabond. Antimix. Questionable gamer. Nuno. Adam. Tom. Maverick. Kerr. Keith. Crazy. Consta. Christian. Big shout out to Christian, by the way. Became a member this afternoon. I was testing something. I just saw this. I oh, heard the noise in my ear. I was like, "What the hell's going on?" Uh, Trevisio, that boy Raz, Alex, Catalin, Grammy, Cooper, Quinton, Bugla, Graham, Bex. Ah, my mouse has gone funny. Outlaw. Fernando ZZ PT, hello everybody. I think I've got everybody there. Apologies if I've missed you. Um, I can only scroll so fast, of course. Right, so we're gonna need to jump into this rather fast. Now I don't know whether we're doing a one shot or two shot tonight. So uh, I have family over. So um, well, not me particularly, but my family have invited more family over. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. If there is a possibility of a good result, I may carry on. Uh, but even so, yo, Paul. Uh, yo Tommy, yo Stag. Um, so yeah, if there is a possibility of a race result, I might do the second one. If there isn't, and we just do this, and then that might be it. Uh, so it could be a short stream today, I don't know. Uh, there's no rec fest um, today. But guys, if you're not signed up to Mini Madness, go sign up to it, man. It's awesome. Discord's in the uh, description, as I say. I'm trying to keep things controlled on there, so just explain Discord a little bit. Some of you complain about slow modes on some of the channels. It's that's so I can read them because like some channels are literally to put requests in, request a member role if you're a member on YouTube or whatever that might be. Uh, the Chatteroo channel is literally where you can just chat f for days on end if you want to. Absolute days. Uh, right, so we can get in here by the way. We can easily get in here. I was on for an absolute stonking lap. Um, weird name. Um, earlier. And then I lost uh, six temps in the chicane or something daft. Because I took it really slowly because I was on such a good lap. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the Haywards. Everybody's accepted into the mini challenge the minute you sign up to it. We have uh, 50 competitors at the moment signed up. Yeah, I need to catch up with Lamont. I watched the first hour and then um, I sort of came up here to practice and set stream up because that camera was used for something else yesterday so I had to set that up again. I'll be trying to keep up with Discord of course. Now guys if you want to talk to me or DM me Discord's going to be the best place from now on. So uh, yeah I'd say get yourself on there. Like I'll, I'll, I'll will answer Twitter as well of course uh, but Twitter will just take a bit longer. Discord I'm on permanently now because it's a community I've got to sort of manage. I hate this first corner with a passion. Because the first part you can't cut you can't even you can't even semi cut it. The second part you can. So stupid. Now I if the mini challenge does get insane with applications, um we'll review what's going on. Um But uh yeah. 
We'll see. Has there been any big accidents in the lot? Tetra Rouge here is a pain in the ass. Can I just say that right now? Expect a lot of penalties in the race from a lot of people. Yeah, th those time slots, by the way, I was only explaining them as in like an example. Like, if you're EMEA, you can still join the, you know, the referenced Asia Oceania one or NASCA. Or CSA, should I say, not SCA? the chicanes as well, they give random penalties for no reason. You think Mini Ma Madness will go viral? Do you reckon? We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I've got good hopes. I mean the practice races were extremely fun, you know, it allows all driver skill levels to race, have fun, be competitive. It just felt really bad writing a regulation to it, because it's meant to be fun, but you know it it's not fun if people wiping out, so I just figured, let's get something set up. No cutting there. If you get something set up, then at least it's there and people understand the rules and all that stuff. You know the last part of that uh, video, uh, the intro, sorry, where it comes up, Mini, Mini Madness Championship. I did that in literally one take. I put the I put the footage in. I put the text in. I just changed one option, and I was like, "Wow, that works amazing!" And so I just left it. Oh my goodness me! Cab cab runs. <laughs> uh, Can we at least do half a lap without a penalty? Oh, Randy, that's a big comment, mate. Uh, you have to give me a second. I have to wait till the mull stands straight. chance we might actually be in the second split as well. I'm not, I wasn't trying to be in second split, but we had a bit of a disaster after the last manufacturers. So we then tried to get wins in daily races and then that went down like a lead balloon. Right, Randy, what have you said here? Oh, I don't know much about that. Well, after after two races, the applications close for the for the championship. Some slow sectors at the moment. Going car. I, I want to try and get as much practice as I can. In a, I couldn't practice yesterday because I was at a wedding. So literally, just today. Oh, I did a little bit, like half an hour on Wednesday. Was it Wednesday night? Thursday night, sorry. Thursday night it was. Well, that could be a cut. If it's not, I'll laugh. <laughs> yeah, you can't run wide. What? Penalties, it's just weird. I don't understand who's tested it. Because I feel like it needs a, a lot more testing here at this track. Other tracks are pretty fine, to be honest. It might be the odd corner, it's weird. But Tetra Rouge, 
Fair enough, actually. Tetra Rouge is very specific. As in, on the exit, you the minute you go over the white line, you get a penalty. But you could cut the inside of it. And I'm like, well, what's that about? For the first you came, you can't even go anywhere near the white line on the, on the first part. But on the second part, you can cut it. It doesn't make sense. I, I like consistency with the penalty system. And at the moment, it's not consistent. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Penalties between drivers is a very hard thing to do, but penalties on a track should be very simple. Are your wheels over a certain limit? Yes, penalty. No, they're not. Oh, we're in. We're easy in. That's good. Lewis is after a victory here in that pug. It's the fastest down the straight, put it that way. Uh, you can cut, just make sure all four tyres are back on track before the end of the kerb. Oh, really? At Tetra Rouge, fullness. I never tested that. Well, that's my f that's my problem with it a little bit, but yeah. Anyway, let's forget about penalties. Let's try and enjoy this. Lots of Fords in here. Look at that. Ford is like the new OP manufacturer, apparently. Ba -ba -ba. Daniel is literally propping up Audi at the moment, if you didn't know. Literally leading the way for Audi and me being a pleb is apparently miles behind. Right. I'm, I'm not suspicious in the slightest that uh, a couple of people who we did see tanking DR. There's not a lot of points here. Oh well. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. How come you rarely see M. Thomas in these top lobbies? I don't think he does that much in terms of um, FIA, if I'm honest. I've not, I've not really uh, asked him. When he comes in the chat at some point, just feel free to ask him. Whoa, 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 stop the car, stop the car, stop the car. So I'm gonna try something in quali that I've never done before really. I don't want a fuel burn you see and a lot of people are fuel burning. I couldn't get it to work that well. Oh it's a dog fight between the Ford! Here, this is where the Ford just... Look, look at that! We're even, we're even, we're even. Oh, it's going, it's going. This is where the top end of Audi sucks. Look at this! Synchronized question. Right, uh Exactly, exactly. I don't understand all of like I, I I was actually actually I'll tell you this. I was trying to come up with a point system that works and I'm very close to it. It it works for every single lobby apart from every single split, mind you, irrespective of average uh DR, except for the last five thousand and lower. It doesn't work for that. But everybody else all 70,000 above that lobbies, it works perfectly. And it's about 15th, uh, 13th to 15th place, depending on what the average um, DR is of the lobbies. It generally works. So I was doing, what was I doing? 5,000 splits. Work perfectly. Obviously, if it gets smaller, the higher the points in the lower lobbies. It was just working great. It was fantastic. And it was a very simple one as well. Very, very simple. So I'm just going to sprint round here. And then I'm going to go in the pits. And I think I've got enough time to do this. I don't know. If I don't, I don't. I'm going to sprint round, go in the pits, come out again. I should have enough time to do this. I should. Look at this! Look at that car!
allows me to get into a bit of rhythm this as well. Hey flip mode! Yeah, UB is Carl Williams. UB is coming with me to the uh, Nürburgring. One of only three Brits. The other being Adam, of course, the nations. And is it manufactured? I don't think he's the manufacturers. manufacturers. I'll have to check. I don't think he is in manufacturers. So I'm going to sprint round. Go in the pits. Come out again. Sprint round. Ah, Tuscany. Ah, it, you just made a mistake by hitting the pause button, mate. I wouldn't dwell on it too much. Obviously, it was infuriating for me at the time. But that's why I live stream. You just get my live reactions at the time. Oh, let's get round. Yo, Sebastian. Yo, Uche. TRL Perpy is the last time you'd have seen me race him. It's, um, poor. When was the last time? I think he was in a practice lobby once, uh, quite recently. Before that, IGTL Catalonia, maybe? It's a while ago. Whoa! And that's what we've got to watch out for in this car. Snap oversteer for no reason whatsoever. We. Hoping the guy in the white shirt doesn't move. <laughs> Right, um Sintu, yo. So everyone just join in, they're into Discord now. Uh and if you're not signed up to Mini Madness, I suggest you do. Uh video is on the channel if you want more information. Very simple process to sign up. And uh yeah, I'm managing that at the moment, but I'm after a couple of administrators. Oh, Grass is after some slipstream. I'm just going to come in the pits. Oh! Yo, Chewy! See, a lot of people are fuel burning. Now, I found that your tyres just weren't good enough. It's in tyre temps, personally. But I don't understand why anyone's not done this. Uh, so here you're going to have Tetra Rouge, uh, the both Mulsanne chicanes. Oh, grass of fuel burned a bit. That's an interesting strat. Maybe I should have done that a little bit. That's what those guys were doing. Yeah, could have done. So now we can just chill on our way around a little bit here. Should try and get a slipstream to be honest, but again, I can't be bothered fighting for slipstream everywhere. It's just annoying. So we just want to ease our way around. No dramas. So I think my best earlier was. 57.7 or something. That's what I want around that. Beautiful livery. Thanks very much, mate. It will change slightly, I think, especially when you see what's happening in two weeks' time, three weeks' time. I know. Uh, I'm not joining another team, not that I'm aware of anyway. Come on, just find a GTR to slip. To be honest, we might catch up to the fuel burners. They'd be great down the straight, they'd be faster than me. 
I just want a clean lap. Honestly, slipstream, yeah, it'd be great on here, but I've not practiced it, so I'll end up probably just being fired off somewhere. When uh, I don't realize how much understeer there is at a certain point. And let's be honest, the race is going to be a bit random. A little bit random. F4H training GTA. Everybody's training GTA! <laughs> oh, not that I'm aware of. You want a mini beauty contest? We could do something like that with a mini championship. So you can, if you look on the map now, in the on the right hand side, there's a group of three cars going to Mulsanne. Now there's another two behind as well. But as I say, I'm not getting involved in all that crap. I can't be bothered. Then you end up with arguments and stuff on the straight. What happens if someone gets a penalty? Are they going to move out the way? Are they just going to hold? Blah, 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 blah. How do you support Tidge? Could you imagine? It'd be amazing. <laughs> Scarrow to No <laughs> Marine the Pen <laughs> Yo Bike Sport News. Am I doing nations? No, I'm not Firestorm. I gave up nations ages ago, it's completely pointless. Especially when you look at the combos for the uh, World Tour event as well again. Uh, you know it's all end cars. I don't want to race end cars, I want to race GT three and GT four, so I'm just gonna keep myself planted in this category. Alright, let's hope we have a decent lap now, boys. <sighs> See what happens. Oh, that was slow. That was very slow. I was a bit scared then. A bit scared. The guys aren't going to make the line, it looks like. Slow, slow split. 56 9 by Belly, that's a good lap. Try not to run wide anyway on the Mulsan, it's horrible.
could get a penalty for that, I'm not sure. I've never done that before that corner. No, apparently not. Yeah, not the greatest, but uh, never mind. We're not going to get a 56-4. Let's put it that way. The Pug's the strongest car here, by large margin. Now, some of these guys will be using Slipstream, others won't be. Yeah, exactly. It's the race that's the main point here, and the fact that you get a penalty, you, you lose out a ton, don't you? So, you just don't get a penalty, and in theory, you should just go up the field. Get old theory. I'm just spilling water everywhere now. I have no idea what the tyres are like in the race either, so... Hey, we're going to this blind. Have fun. Who's none before? I've never seen that guy before, actually. <laughs> the pun. So it's whether Matty, JM, Bree and Key have penalties or not. I don't know. Baguette is going to... Don't! Don't say it, Cody! Go away! <laughs> Downplay the pug. The pug is the fastest car here by a large margin. By a very large margin, so, yeah. it's Yeah, that, I think that's the best thing you can do here, guys, in terms of quality. Literally, just don't get a penalty. That's all you gotta do. Ah, okay. You must know like the penalty system inside and out. In fact, he got a plus one point. W so he's plus one point one with a one second penalty. So he would have been well up there, wouldn't he? Let's be honest. So I'm assuming Key, J, and Bree, and Matty have uh, binned it somewhere. TX one four one TX. Loving the stream, Tishney. Good looking race. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. If you love this stream, check out Discord. We're going to keep advertising that today. Uh, and Mini Madness. Honestly, that championship is going to be epic. Absolutely epic. <coughs> yeah, Pug Power. I'm assuming these guys aren't finishing a lap, so... Um, I'm, uh, yeah, wow. Okay. Start 12th. See where we end up. Oh lol mate. <laughs> oh, unlucky. Unlucky. <coughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, it is good to see a different nationality up there. It looks like we could have burnt off a bit more fuel, maybe gained a bit more time. It wasn't the best lap, it wasn't, it wasn't even, it was, in fact it was a horrible lap to be honest. It should be 57s, but pff, hey, it's what happens in the race. I don't like Lasaf personally, um, I think the penalties are a bit weird. If they weren't weird, I could understand it more, but you can't push in certain places, but you can absolutely destroy other places, so yeah. Uh, great job, top three. Ooh, caps lock's on. Cap, cap, caps lock. Great job, top three. Good luck. Have fun. Oh. Where's my mobile gun? There it is. Um. Uh, load. Okay. Okay. 200 WhatsApp messages again. How is that even possible? Uh, so it's bit, it's, I've not looked at it in like an hour. Did you, uh, I will have done Zanny. Um, if literally, if you're on the Discord, as long as your name's in green, you're you're in. Oh, in fact, yours would be yellow. But if you could see the um, the incident report chat, then yeah, you're in. Yeah, two hundred in an hour though. An hour. 
Oh, crap, Ray Big. That's a good point. Yo, Blake. Where am I going to auto drive at the start? No, I didn't think about this. <laughs> uh, this is the track I, I wasn't expecting any results anyway. The first three rounds, I, ironically, I wasn't expecting any results for Audi, except that the last round turned out to be a good round for Audi. Which is why I was even more peed off a little bit. Can I even pass it? 290. Really? I thought it was 280 at the top end on its own. In Slipstream, it's probably like 4,000. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, boys and girls. See what happens. I've got a chippy waiting for me downstairs. Oh, chippy T. Chippy T. Look at that pug. I mean, really. I invented pug power. And everyone's jumping on it now. What's your, what are my hopes here? If we get top 10, I'd be happy. I, I would really want like 2,500 plus, but the likelihood of that happening is probably nil. Likes for luck. I like that idea. I like that idea. Yeah, 4 GT, that's a good shout, uh, Cody. Would you prefer Cody or Nick? I never, I never quite, I'm never quite sure. There is two channels. Oh, maybe uh, I plugged it up slightly, Blake. I definitely have added you. I remember doing it. I had, I'm pretty sure I added Zanny as well. Um, leave it with me. I'll have a look. But I used the RCZ. Yeah, but Pug Power K. <laughs> uh, that Beetle. It's not very fast on the straights from memory. Zetti there. That's a nice uh, livery, that, actually. Boom. The livery that's potentially changing soon. Although the colour scheme stays the same. You have two rolls. No, no, because both rolls, I think, have access to it in your case. Okay, leave it with me. Leave it with me. I'll, I'll sort it out after. I'm assuming I'm meant to be revving the engine here, by the way. I'd be a bit buggered if you're not meant to, but hey. Okay, yeah, no worries. Leave it with me. I'll, I'll have a look. Don't panic, guys. Don't panic. Why does Key start at the back? He was P17 in the quality. Oh, please start me somewhere good. Please. Please. I like you, Kaz. Please start me somewhere good. Yes, it does, Chewie. Oh, yes. Lovely place. Thanks. Oh, penalty already for SBDR. That'd be served on the Mulsan as well. Ouch. About 10 seconds we start behind the leader. 10 seconds. I'm surprised you said you didn't get a penalty there. Did cut the first corner a lot. Or is it the second part of the Mulsat? I can't remember where it is on, the, on here. Now uh, Giuseppe should fire past me. That's a good strategy then to catch the rest. When Giuseppe, just fire past. Well don't fire past. I'll fire past on the next straight. That BMW is obviously slow in a straight line.
Ooh, don't be a penalty there, please. I didn't I didn't cut it. I promised Kaz. Yeah, see? Working as a team here. Smart play. Let's go, boys. Oh, a bit deep. Probably should have bumped me that time. Yeah, he's got the legs. Is he back? He's back enough now. Yeah, he's got the legs. He needs to bump draft me, I think. Bring him along here. He lets me uh, do the Porsche. Co oh no, no, come on! I'm the handling car. Let the handling car go, mate. There we go. That's better. The further back he is for the Mulsan as well, the better it will be for him. Whoa, whoa. Bloody Audi. I hate it when it does that. It just spikes itself. It's like, hi guys! To me, that first part of that chicane, I ate it. I absolutely hate that first part of the chicane, it's a pain in the ass. So I didn't cut it then. How far is everybody else behind? Ugh. I mean, he fired, fired him then. <laughs> Look at all the penalties! <laughs> you know something's wrong when half the field is just getting penalties constantly. Let's see how many red dots are at the end. <laughs> oh dear, it's funny. Never mind, right, let's continue racing. It is, it is a joke. Let's be real here. The amount of penalties. Guys, guess in the chat how many red dots we're going to have against names at the end of the race. You've got 20 people in the race. That's a max it can be. Ninety. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> The irony here, even more so I suppose with this, is that top split's probably going to get less penalties than everybody else. 
but we get less points anyway. Oh, no, 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 stop the car, stop the car, stop the car. Adam with another penalty up ahead. He's only just got it, so it's Indianapolis he got that. That's another weird penalty. I'm, ne I'm never sure why the penalty on Indianapolis here is that strict, but there we go. Yes, I do over rev. It's the fastest way with the Audi. In, fifth, in that fifth gear, 162, change gear. Ooh, that was nice. I like that. Tires are looking okay, which is nice. Oh, another penalty behind. Oh, that was the worst Tetra Rouge in my life. Never mind. Oop, the bumper draft in up ahead. Had to get a killer penalty there. And the Mulsanne straight is going to lose. Look at that. We're gaining on him quick, but not enough, I don't think. Looking too far behind. Not very exciting races, is it? This Audi's great in Sector 1, to be fair. That's a lovely Mulsan. We started 12th, didn't we? So I, I have no idea what's going on behind. It's, there must be penalty galore back there. Yeah, there's there's so much extensions in real life. Yeah, you do it here. It's like you're not even extended in some places and getting a penalty. It's a bit mad. I mean, that's the more frustrating thing. There's places you extend and you don't get a penalty here, and there's places where you don't don't even extend and you get a penalty. It's like what? Doesn't make sense. No. Oh! I think that's a penalty! 
How is that a penalty? I was in the white lines. <laughs> Peggy, 18. My point exactly. And they wonder why people are so frustrated with the penalty system. <laughs> you just can't do anything. It's, it's hilarious. Like this corner, you got to be so careful. Yeah, you can cut this bit. You can't even go anywhere near the first curb, but second curb, it's like, yeah, cut away, mate. It's like, what? Does it make sense? <laughs> when he only gets to feel my pain. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, you guys saw that. I, w I was still in the white lines there. My left tires are in the white lines, and it still gives me a penalty. Yeah, here, for example, I can prop. Well, I don't, I don't actually show it there very well. We have a battle with Matt here. There's every chance, you know, if we get a decent quality position and don't get penalties, we could get further up. Maybe we do the second race. I need to go eat though as well. Oh! <laughs> at least my tyres survive at the end, or the, well, large part at least. Oh, it was easily still in the white lines there, easily. Up to Grasser. Oh, that Lexus is really OP on tyres, isn't it? I always forget that. Oh, really? Oops, someone's binned it. Or had binned it. Like this one, you can cut that. But some of the others you can't. I don't know. Weird. Uh, so Lewis won. Belling got a five second penalty at the end. Wow, Moira down there. Is that, what, what happened to those two? They were in second. So Chevrolet gets a big haul here. Um, so is Nissan. Twelve hundred points. Probably half the GT population have beat me there. <laughs> I got penalties. To be fair, that was a murder. Should we, have, we better save the replay then. 
There's been a murder. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think Moira's going to say something. Oh, Moira hit Bellin. That's what it was. Well, what happened further down? Oh, we didn't check the red dots, did we? We ripped to me. I forgot to count. 18 penalties. Probably. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh I hear the red dots, actually. I'm lying. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, 18. Whoever guessed 18 is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Everyone else got penalties. So my guess then is that, because uh, it happened at the chicane, did Moira like hit Bellin in the chicane? Um, and then it may have reset his car and that's why the yellow flag maybe, I don't know, we'll have a quick gander. Um, now apparently it's a good battle according to them, stupid penalty system, yep. GG. Not zilch, zilch for a top split lobby. Wrong. But as I said, I've w I've worked on a point system that works apart from the very bottom um, bottom ones, uh, bottom lobbies. Uh, let's have a look at this. Should Chevrolet or Chevrolet were already ahead of Audi? So who did well there? Nissan. Nissan did well. Nissan could jump Audi here. Rip to me. I need to try and push him up a bit more. Honestly, this is where tanking DR helps massively because you just go, oh, I'll tank DR, I'll go to the third split, I'll get 2.5k and, and just come around here somewhere. Potentially. Obviously, if you don't get penalties like me, like a pleb. Peugeot, obviously, get are going to get a big haul here. So, even if that's 40, so that's 36, that's uh, blah, 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 quick maths, 90, so still behind the Audi, thank goodness. Uh, although Outlaw's getting in as well later, so, yeah be interesting. Don't think anyone else did crazily well, if I'm honest. Same old story with some of the uh, front runners. Well, exactly. The penalties are just stupid. See, the whole point of a game is to have fun. Now, don't get me wrong. If somebody's super extending, then yes, give him a penalty. But we're talking literally millimetres here and and like penalties it should be like another let's i don't know 20 centimeters leeway and if someone's going over that 20 cent that's fair enough give them a penalty they've got no no way to argue if someone's just running slightly over then that's their own that's their own issue by uh running wide but some of that it's just way <laughs> it's way too extreme <laughs> i mean we're meant to be playing a racing game it's hilarious Well, we can have a look at that. We'll quickly have a look at it. We'll have a look at my penalty, especially the um, so the first turn. See, the first turn you can't even take two wheels on the curb that much. Except now, this is where the exception is. If you drift into that corner, it doesn't give you a penalty. And if you so, it's based on wheels. What wheels hit the curb first is how you get a penalty on that first chicane. The second one's fine because literally your right tires hit it first, so it doesn't see it as a cut. But the left, I think it's because your right tyre hits it first. I think that's when it gives you a penalty. It's so stupid. It really is. I don't understand the penalty system decided by which tyre hits the line first and which doesn't. It seems a bit weird to me. Like, no offence to the person who made it, but... just keep, I, It seems like a lot a lot of the time, in terms of Gran Turismo, everything's done overcomplicated. Just keep it simple. A foot over the white line, penalty or whatever, before all four wheels are over. Well, Basically, that's wheels, but the whole car is over the white line by 20 centimetres. Give him a penalty. If not, just let it go. Let's have fun. Yo, tranquil base! Rawr! Oh, Jomas, man. I do think this round you won't get a lot of points in the lower splits, if I'm honest. 
And whoever put this in, surely, in your mind you go, put a skip button in, put a skip button in, put a skip button in. But we don't seem to have it. Why is there not a skip button? Just make circles skip. Oh, it's circles confirming in Japan, isn't it? Square then. I don't care. Triangle. Lots of spanners in chat, yes. And I am the ultimate spanner. But yeah, there's, there's not even the point system's a bit complicated or overcomplicated. They've looked at it from the top end perspective, so the top players, and not looked at it from all players, in my opinion, which is why it's a bit iffy. Yes, that's a good point, Christian. Right, so uh, we'll get to my penalty first. So let's uh, do that. Oh, I can see penalties now as well, so I can see when I get it. Um, Right, that's the first penalty. Uh, oh, I don't know why I was doing that. Right, so that's the most I cut it. Ooh, okay. Could have an argument. Could have an argument. Could have an argument. Let's uh, see that trajectory a bit more. I need to go a few more frames. I, I mean, I'm on the border. I think I'm still fine, though. I mean, the fact that I'm actually having to look at it like this. <laughs> oh, my word. Right, okay, I've got a few more frames. The first, Yeah, the first one is... No, no, I'm, I'm running off him now, you see? So I did not... I, I did not at any point cross that white line with all four wheels. Two wheels are over. Two are not. I'll go a bit further on. Let's have a look. See, I'm pretty sure I'm fine now. So that that to me is fine. That's a nonsense penalty. So let's go to the next one. Just curious now. Uh, uh, we're coming up to it now, I believe. Oh, here we go. Let's have a look. Right, that's the most I'm going to run wide here, for sure. How is that a penalty? How? How? Who makes these rules? How? 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 How is that a penalty? Please tell me. How? How? That's perfect. That's survived. <laughs> how? Oh, I'm going a bit further off there. Okay, let's have a look at that one. I've got a bit further. I like that camera, actually. Oh, 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 oh. We're getting close. Getting close. We're still in. Oh, are we in? I need to zoom really close in now to get that one. I think we're still in there. I think we're... Oh, are we? Are we? And the fact we're having to do this that close is hilarious. I think we're still in here. Uh, how do I focus? Are we in? Can we go low? I can't go lower. <laughs> I'm technically off the ground. Does that mean I, I, that, that that's the penalty? <laughs> I'm technically off the ground. Oh dear. Other side of white light. Well, hang on. What, what, what are you on about? Over this side? Oh yeah, I'm out that, that side, but... Uh, all four wheels are not over the white line there. My front wheel's fine. Let me just... Let's go back. Uh... No, you see? It's surviving now. Although, I think my rear might be over. That might be fair enough if my rear's over. Oh, look how close that is. Look at... Look how close. I'm still in. I'm still in there. I don't care if that's a millimetre or what. I'm still in. <laughs> Technically, I'm not touching the white line. I'll give you that. Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, I could uh, how do I do this? Uh. <laughs> oh, dude. I still think it's him. <laughs> I'm one. <laughs> even, I tell you what, even if you had VAR, you'd be there for about five minutes going. Is that is that actually over or not? 
Oh, I think I think the car landed there. Maybe we get a better shot now. Oh, oh, oh! I c I still cannot see the curb. Oh, oh! No, nope, I'm still touching that white line. I cannot see curb. <laughs> I'm literally. <laughs> I'm still in there. I cannot see curb. Unless I can see curb, I'm not. I'm not having it. Um, I'm going this one now. Let's have a look. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm still going. Oh, I see. I'm more over there, I think. Right, that should be over, I reckon. No, no, look. No curb. Yeah, I'm in there. I'm coming back on circuit now. Screw you, penalty system. Uh, how did I get on? I got... Well, to be honest, it's a bit of a funny old race, to be fair. I don't know why we're on Matty. Uh, so, should we have a look what caused this binning? Oh, let's go back. Wow. So wow. So Belling did get a penalty. Oh, okay. No! No! Seriously! A Belling got robbed! <laughs> Belling actually got robbed! Wow! <laughs> Clear points. I don't believe that! I mean, look at it from my own bit. He's just had broke himself. Yeah, look, he broke well late there. He couldn't have done anything. Belling couldn't have done anything. That's mad. Ooh, and then Thunder's like, I'll, I'll take that. Thanks very much, mate. Wow. I'd have preferred that result as well over um, Nissan. I'll tell you what, I'll show PD next time I see them. Um, I suppose what we can do, because I want to go eat, but I am going to do the next race. I'll put this replay on for the full thing, so you can watch the bell in. Um, there we go. Uh, the bell in Moira race. Which, who do you want to be on? Do you want to be on Bellin or do you want to be on Moira? Shout out in chat now. And then I'll be eating for like 10 minutes and then I'll be back. And then uh, we'll open a practice lobby and we can go from there. Bellin. We'll stay on Bellin then. Do you on this view? Cool. Right, I'll be back in like t 10 minutes. Moira, oh, Moira, Moira, Bellin, Bellin. Most people are saying Bellin. And we're going to go with Bellin here. Yo, Scourge. Right, so as I say, I'll be back in about five minutes, hopefully. It's chippy tea, so pie, chips, and gravy. Maybe I'll come back and eat in it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, give me five minutes. Uh, I'm going to turn the mic off just so you don't hear me munching away.
Hello. <clears throat> Whoa, my TV's gone off. What the hell? What's going on? Wow, Moira we got a penalty. I'll switch TV on at a very opportune t moment because the signal disappears briefly. Oh, he's going for the move! Down the inside! Right, I'm going to risk it here. No signal! <coughs> and we should be back. There we go. What's for dinner? It was uh, steak pie, chips and gravy. Chippy tea from up north. Number three. Did it! Wow. I'll have to catch up on them on after. <coughs> Yo, gamer. I'm having a good weekend, thanks. Hope you are as well. It's uh, my sister's wedding yesterday. And, uh, yeah. GT today. Family are over. So, after the 9 o'clock split, we are disappearing. <coughs> I do want to go back to Le Mans. Um, I mentioned it ages ago. Maybe we do a community trip to Le Mans. I don't know. Oh, lol, Chewy. It's so nice. Oh, I made a brew as well. Glass of water. My word. It's one lap three or four. So Lewis was just obviously taking it easy a little bit, I reckon. How's uh Oh, it's damp on track, is it? On tuck go as well. Unbelievable lap, Chewy. No rep fest tonight, Forest, I'm afraid. i say family are over. Um, so it's a, sh it's a shortest stream tonight. Uh, no rec fest next week either, actually, strangely. Because um, I'm going to have to do a rec fest tomorrow then. We'll have to do a rec fest tomorrow. Maverick! Hello, my friend! Welcome to the Tishney Member Club. I'll have to sort out your Discord now. Boom! Thanks very much, mate. Much appreciated. Oh, double, double, double for members. Boom, boom! Yes! Very much appreciated, mate. Welcome to the club. I know, um, oh, I have a feeling that at, um, at the Nürburgring, they might want to talk to me. I don't know for certain, they might not want to, but obviously that video, Dear Gran Turismo, they that obviously had an impact on them. I mean, that's the first time I've ever heard of GT having an impact from a, a video like that. I was just being honest and straight to the point, that's why there was no editing in it, I just wanted to explain my, my problem a bit at the moment. And now we get racing at least, which is kind of nice. I've been to Le Mans in real life. I went in 2015. Yeah, the bell, the bell in penalty, my word. We're going to see it again here in a second. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he's had a really good bat with Moira as well. Eight days rain. Really? Ho 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 ho. What place did I get, questionable gamer? I got, um. It was P12, I can't remember. <laughs> it's, uh, some atrocious place. Um, I would just do the race if you want a bit of fun, Mike, if I'm honest. Don't focus on whether it's worthwhile doing. Look at it. Am I going to have fun at Le Mans or Le Sauf? Um, Do I want a night of racing? There's going to be a lot of slipstreaming, of course. That's the way I go for it. I, it will be quite, uh, <laughs> it will be a quite a slow car, I believe. But uh, it, the only way is to test it. Uh, yes, I agree with that, uh, Elvin. 
mean, look at that lovely move there. Clean racing. What's not to like here? I've always said this though. I would quite happily work for Polyphony Digital uh, and abandon all my world tours or whatever it might be. Or possible world tours or world finals or whatever it might be. I would quite happily abandon that if I can help contribute in a way that you guys could comment to me and I could comment to them and say what's really happening because I feel like communication is the, the biggest part here could be wrong I don't know but it's just what it feels like the fact that we managed to communicate that we wanted racing and not the tire saving uh, simulator and then we actually got racing again I mean don't get me wrong the tires are still a bit extreme but at least we're racing now it's kind of nice Prano, uh, Prano, uh, did you saw that? I, I haven't seen that. I'm not doing nations, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, setting in the same. Uh, hang on, at least during the race. Setting is the same, but Group Three in a curb with exercises penalty. Also at Tetra Rouge, not. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's the issue I'm having. Right. Here's the insane penalty, guys. For those interesting, uh, in interesting, interested. Let's have a look at this now. Oh, din. Man, one second. That's that's awful. So here, here's, here's what happens. Spelling goes down the inside. Moira just completely misses his braking point. Loses the car. Can't do anything. Belling couldn't do anything either. Look at this. Five second penalty. What could Belling have done there different? He could have gone maybe a bit more to the left, but at the end of the day, he's racing. Five second penalty. Do feel for belling that. That was a P2. It was a P2. Did Jomas say he got punted as well in this? I swear he did. Where's Jomas in all of this? Oh, someone was going off then. Who was that? Uh, JM3? See, I missed what happened to Jomas. Wow. Well, it happened back here somewhere. Oh, here we go. So he's got a five second penalty somewhere. Okay, let's keep going back. Where's his five second penalty come from? Oh, look at this. this is <laughs> Problem with people take. Oh, oh, Jamas got hit as well. Oh. And then it's like three wide, so Jomas tries to give Stefanzi rooms a Mustang there as well. Oh, everyone just hits everyone. This is where you need not, you can't be side by side during the penalty zone, but then if you've got different penalties, <laughs> what do you do there? Crazy. Yeah, Matty. I hope people watch the, um, uh, the end of the Project Cars 2 vlog. Ciao, Gabrielle. Right, uh, we're going to start an open lobby, guys. Feel free to join, and then we'll do a quick race in here as well. And then, uh, yeah, it's back to another race. Uh, oh, I don't even have the settings here. I'm going to have to steal the settings off somebody here. And give me a sec. Uh, open practice. FIA and chill. Oh, we well, you know they're the right settings. Who's in there? Maluk Malukum. That's Callum. Um... I'm assuming these are all the right settings, so I'm just going to nick them. Shout at me if they're not. Uh, great room. Load settings. FIA and chill. We'll, call it, we'll keep it that name, actually. Uh, driving for pleasure. Uh, oh, no. Nope. Public. Uh, race for fun. Uh, no. Um, a. We'll do A. Um, S has to be above 91, is it? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, GT Alex, I'll, I'll share the replay after for you. Uh, right, is this right? I'm assuming this is all right. Um, ish, probably, I don't know. 
Uh, oh, and group three, hards, yes, whatever. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, 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 yep. I don't know. Let's just kick off. Yours is 80. Rip to you, Matty. Rip to you. Oh, you probably got more points than me. How many points did you get? I'm not sure. I, d I d see all to me. All you gotta do with track limits is literally now. Collision penalty is systems a whole different ball game because you gotta program all sorts. Track limit though, it should just be here's the white line. We'll give maybe I don't know a foot leeway just because it's a video game and people want to have fun. If your all four wheels are over by more than a foot, then give them a penalty. If they're not, then it is what it is at the end of the day. And then some of them might go, oh, well, isn't everyone just going to go to the extreme of a foot over? They are, but then you are risking it after that curb. That's the whole point, in my opinion. But Matty, you got one point. I got 1.2, mate, in the top lobby. Uh, right, so we'll do what we did last time. We just need to work out where we need to fuel burn a little bit. Because a few of those guys fuel burned. In terms of the uh, collision penalty system, uh, that one is a hard one. I, I, I honestly couldn't comment on that because I can't even imagine the amount of programming going into that. So, somebody said, if, as long as you come back on before the end of the curve, it should be fine. So I need to, I need to play with that idea. I just think they need to penalise the extremes. Don't penalise the tiny ones. But it, it's like, I don't know. I always find that we seem to be going one extreme to the other here with everything. We wanted racing, so now they've just made all races super sprint races, which isn't what everybody wanted. We just want to race 30, 40 minutes, just where tire wear is not significant. Yeah, see, the problem is, that's right, as GT Alex said, the problem is with a collision system is the processing power to manage it. Because I imagine this game takes up. I'm trying to sneeze here, by the way, guys, you wouldn't know what the hell I'm doing. So that this game will use a lot of processing power anyway. So they're obviously having to build something around the uh, processor of the PlayStation. Obviously the PS5 will be able to handle a lot more, better system, but they're limited. So I don't know how you would do it personally. Um, I think if somebody's already left the track and come back on and then you hit them, I don't think that should be a penalty. I think you should get rid of that straight away. It's like that incident with Bellin. Because that was crazy. Bellin should not have been given a penalty for that. It should be like, if car has already left track, without contact, no penalty. Period. If car leaving track causes collision when coming back on, potentially they should get a penalty. Because they've left the track. It's an unsafe return. Vettel Hamilton, Vettel Hamilton. Oh, bad you I can't, mate. Uh, now I've already started it, I have to reload it again. So I'm going to do I'm going to fuel burn after this corner. Uh, I think. Yes, yeah, so let's fuel burn here. a little bit. Now the report system is something that does need to be worked on in my opinion. And I think they could do a lot of work there improving that. But there needs to be some sort of uh, waiver on it that if you report somebody you're reporting somebody for a, a very good reason and if it's not a good reason you yourself could be banned. 
in in that in that environment. That way, you're only reporting the most serious of incidents. So I think that's enough fuel burning. You think PD has a resource to do that? No. I don't. Not at the moment. But then they're a bigger part of Sony, so why can't Sony help PD with this environment? Because if somebody's being abusive in a video game, in Gran Turismo or whatever it might be, what's that dude in the background doing? Um, so what's being, you know, putting people off? Then there's potential they're doing this in other games. If they're doing this in other games, Shouldn't they be banned full stop? I don't know. We're just going to chill our way down. I'm not trying to slide like we did then. go for a lap. The cave will be 75 so we might do another lap after for 75 just to see what we can get. I mean the problem is I suppose iRacing does have the better penalty system but iRacing has in terms of money resource, it has a huge amount because obviously people subscribe and pay or whatever. And it's a game that's been out for however long. I don't even know how long it's been out. Over 10 years, guys? I'm assuming over 10 years. Don't actually know the answer to that question. Exactly, Zanny. Exactly. Absolutely the point. If, the, if, if Berlin now doesn't make a final because of that, that incident, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. As long as this outlap is under five minutes, we're good. Probably could feel a bit, a bit more actually, but never mind. Yeah, I don't know E-Money. I don't know. I don't know how it works in the background. And I can't say how it works, because as I said, I don't know. My guess would be that uh, PD has, or has, I don't know what the word is. Look at it this way, okay. PD has quite a small team in the grand scheme of it. So are Sony purposely limiting it to that, or are PD trying to stay a small team? I don't know, but at the moment, their resource, maybe not so big. Go Daniel. Oh, Aug joined. At the end of the day, the game has to be fun. If you're just giving penalties to everybody for uh, no good reason, everyone's just going to lose faith and disappear. And all you hear about constantly everywhere. Whether it's a Facebook group, uh, GT Planet, um, you know, just even on our live streams, I mention it, etc. 
is the penalty system. Now, it's always going to be the most mentioned thing, but I think it's mentioned too much at the moment. If it's mentioned as much as it is, I believe there's something wrong with it. Which, obviously, looking at our replay, I think there is. Well, we can fuel burn a little bit more, I think. Even another 30 seconds. It'd be risky, but... Let's go for a lap anyway. Oh, he's come out of the pits. No! Just by us. Ooh, that was a bit slow. We're in, we're in. Um, you can do another lap. I'm going to probably do another lap just to get a feel for it. Oh, actually, no, we can't because of the time. No, no, we will have to go after. You have to do this lap. not realise the time. So we're tenth up on our um, quality lap we did in the actual official lobby. Oh, that was a bit deep. I might go on that so that we know. Look at that first sector. Ooh. Yeah, there's always going to be complaints about slowdowns. But I think as long as you cover the extremes, I don't think the marginals should be penalised, personally. In a league, yes. In this, no. So three minutes under that barrier, we'll use that as a, a reference next time, but I think we're still down. Okay, we've got to do that in fourth gear. Now we know. Ooh, not bad. If we do that, I'll be happy with that. That's only because of the last sector as well. We absolutely nailed that last chicane. Uh, so you've got, I don't know, four minutes, guys. I'll give until it's 70 total time. Do we have time then? 34, 34, 54. No, we need less. So it needs to be three minutes. Um.
At the end of the day, all I want to be able to do is race. Get penalised for going extremes, don't get me wrong, I don't mind. If I extend Tetra Rouge by, like, a massive amount, give me a penalty. But if I've only just gone over, I just prefer a warning or not a penalty. Thirty-five, forty-five, fifty. Oh yeah, we could just do it. Yes, it does. It does indeed. I can agree with that, Florida. Really, that's an interesting. But I'm not sure how PD could do that though. We're gonna go at twenty-five two on our time. Should be enough. We're up to 250 messages in WhatsApp. I've not checked them yet. Check them after. I'll check Discord while I'm here as well. If you're not in Discord, get yourself in, in the description. Oh, I've got the Wi-Fi on. That's a bad idea. Wow, well, lots of chat going on in here. And Mini Madness as well. I'm going to play that video at the end, actually. In fact, I'm going to set that up while uh, we just wait for the qualifiers. Uh, um, let's change that. I don't even know where I'll put it now. Rip to me! I've put the Mini Madness video somewhere and I have no idea where. <laughs> Is that my desktop? Oh yes, there it is. There we go. I think that's the one. We'll find out soon. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, the FIA races, in my opinion, should be one shot. Uh, you know, if I ever get asked that question by PD, I'll be like, yeah, one shot, please, thanks. I don't, I don't see the point now of having multiple chances. Like this, I shouldn't have multiple chances, I should have one shot. That's my results for the points. If I make a... Do you know what, that was the excitement. That used to be the excitement, knowing that you have one chance. If you blow it... End, end, end game. If you do it, oh. Yeah, my, my personal opinion for us would be um, 40 minute race, around that, 35, 40 minutes. Um, the reason I don't want to go further than that is so that you, somebody might have a chance to get into nations. Personally, I would have an hour race. Me, I'd go for the full, you know, whole hog. Let's, let's have a proper race. But, um, yeah, we can't seem to do that. One shot made it... Exactly, because at the moment, isn't it just a weekly... Or in fact, if this is more daily than the daily races. Ironically. Well, do you think one shot would stop the rammers? It would reduce them. We've only got one chance. I've just thought about that. The FIA Championship is more daily than the daily races. <laughs> That's funny. I never thought about it at all until that moment. It was at this moment he knew. Right, so we are going to have to go. Um, I don't know where Unfazed is. I'm assuming he's coming round now. That's Corvette, so I'll give him just a bit more. Uh, no, I don't want to damage. Damaging was the worst thing in this in this championship. So they're coming through the chicane. I'm going to risk it, and then they can go. They should get on. Should get to the line. Yep, he has just that timing. Titch is a timing expert. Confirmed. God, my stream just lagged on my the laptop. There, I was like, no.
Yeah, but they, they have reduced the um, disconnections. They have reduced them. Yeah, da damage didn't solve FIA. Because we had damage in for... I don't know if it's two seasons. We had it in for a season, heavy. Worst experience I had of FIA, that. Even worse than the tyre saving um, simulator. I, I think... That start is so stupid, can I just say that? Um, yeah, I had my race ruined on the first corner like a few times. Just like rip, okay. Oh my word, I don't even know what that one was for! I'm just going to have to play it super safe in the race. Whoa! I'll not do that in the race either. Yeah, I think anything at Lasar should be grid start just because of the rolling start issue. Well, Forrest, my idea, if I was PD, would be a flag in the background as you go through the grid. It just marks off one or something like that. Yeah, I remember that, but I've always known the issue with Spa. I've known that for ages. I mean, if you hear that information, then... Um, oh, no, 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 that was too quick, too quick, too quick. Ah! Um, if you hear that information, then you might want to like make a video as Key did, etc. Um, but I knew... like I knew the full story, so I was like, no, no, no. I literally can't get by Bellin, I don't think. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Just. I don't know. <laughs> well, this is going to be sketchy into Indianapolis. This is a good test. Oh, we survived. Oh, Bellin, we survived, mate. Well played. <laughs> Although the Audi didn't like it. I can tell you that much. That's from a so John. That's from a picture taken in. Ooh, someone said like 2015, I think, or something like that. Ooh, understood. Bellin's going to have nightmares about that corner for days. It's a better first lap. Apart from the one second penalty, of course. It's on this bloody chicane. I know what it is. So you're allowed to cut this second one. I know, I know that much. I've been doing it in the time trial. I think I'll just try and play everything safe. Oh, 
no, bit deep. Pull it back, Tidge. Through, there we go. Up to fourth gear. Oh, here he is, Mr. Pug. Lewis, did you see how Belling got robbed the second? Yeah, I would be as well. <laughs> Look how cleanly that goes by versus me. Oh, that's a penalty, I think. Penalty. Oh, I could take that. <laughs> Brilliant racing. Brilliant racing. I got nothing left, Phil. <laughs> wow, Belly uses that green stuff. Nice. Ooh, I did not mean for the rear to rotate like that. Rip to me. There goes the tyres. I'm just going to try and cut the inside as much as I can. It seems to pull me around more. Oh, no, 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 no. Too deep. Too deep. Whoa. Okay, we're getting a penalty for that, but fortunately, it's just a fun race. Okay, understeer effects was quite bad. Could do with a 4 GT for my uh, quality lap. I get in the 56s then. Look, I'm actually catching a Ford GT. Woohoo! Oh, that was a bit deep. That eight temps. God. If I had that on a, uh, a quality lap, I'd be, I'd be just like, oh.
Oh, it's a three-way. Faze has joined the party. Keep up. Whoa! Ah, Blame it, Hack! I was not expecting your face to break that early. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh. Oh, still going. Ah, don't worry, on face. Don't worry. I was just like, whoa, I don't want to hit you. Didn't want to pal drive you into Narnia. Ditch. I'm going to stay in second gear out of that corner, I think. A bit safer. Can you imagine the version about the chicane, though, at Mulsanne? Especially in, like, um, an SRD lobby. Be full on punts. My word. I'll tell you what, we're following somebody in this car. It's not very nice, I can tell you that much. He'd come at that first corner at a weird angle. Look, he don't give you a penalty. Both got a penalty that time. Yes, exactly. I don't, see, this is the problem. They've, they've overcomplicated the penalty system for trap limits. It should just be simple. It really just needs to be simple. Take the widest car in the game. Put it just over the white line. Maybe add a few, like half a foot or a foot. Just give it a bit of leniency because it's a computer game after all. That's the trap limit. If you hit that position, or go over that position at that point, you're off the track. Then give a penalty. Before that though, yeah. Oh, that was close. Yeah, SVDR still with Volkswagen. Is 
side by side to Indianapolis. Very scary corner. Oh, I'm not sure where I hit Bell in then. It didn't. I didn't hit him on my screen. I didn't feel anything in the wheel anyway. Yeah, exactly. As Hellfire says, you don't really know when you're getting a penalty. So rather than make it marginal like it is at the moment, just make it a little bit more lenient. But I, d I do think that a lot of the chicanes in this game, they need to have a look at and just make sure that they've got the penalties on point. But it's up to PD at the end of the day. They can have to track limits to set to whatever the hell they like. They are, at the end of the day, the clerk of the course, and that's another penalty for me. Apparently not. Uh, no idea. No, I did that completely wrong. Titch doesn't know how to take penalties. You heard it here first. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly, Ray Brick. Exactly. You saw my replay. We're looking at it, it, it literally frame by frame, and we still can't tell whether it should have been or not. But at the end of the day, the curb should be the where the limit is, like Lasaf. It's the curbs. Surely the curbs. I don't understand why we're focused so much on the white line here. But then in the FIA rules, curbs are not part of the track, it's the white line. But then Lasaf's a road circuit, technically, and especially on the Mulsan, so what do you do in then? Yeah, that's the thing. That's as to, as uh, LZR Thomas says, it's based on the audio, tyres go off. And that's the same on that first chicane. It's the exact same there. Literally, if you take it in such a way that uh, I think your left tyres go on rather than your right, or in, I don't know, some kind of weird way, it literally won't give you a penalty. And yet, other times, it'll just... I don't know. Don't know. It's like the start as well, as somebody said. Uh, it should be standing start here. There's no way you can do a an actual rolling start at this circuit because it's so bad. In fact, where I started in P12 was better than a few positions up ahead. We just don't have the top end to catch up to people, which is a shame, but it is what it is. The white lines are clear, but uh, whether we can abuse them or not in this game is an entirely different question. <coughs> it's going to be my last race of the night, this, guys. And then I'll leave you with a mini madness video. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be disappearing off to play some cards with family. But, uh, let's just get out of studio mode. I've not seen the pedal cam video play. I'm hoping it is playing. Ba -ba -ba. Cheers, Matt. Uh, let's get ready for the race. Hey, we nearly on 10 million credits again after PD bankrupted us for Madrid, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it's Madrid. Uh, so we're just going to go out, spin rounds, do about a minute and 20 seconds of fuel burning. Where we did it before. Um... Come in the pits, go out and just fire away, I think. But this is, yeah, this is my opinion, Scourge. I think the tyre wear should be reduced more. No, no, no. So, Paul, uh, what happened there is PD asked me to, or their marketing team anyway, asked me to do uh, the Catalonia lap with the Zondara, which was 4 million credits at the time. So I bought it and did the Catalonia stuff. And then he didn't release it until, like, 
February. So, but yeah, you have to buy the cards if you don't own them in order to practice them beforehand. Nope, not provided for the the tests. Incoming! Penalty incoming! Yes, it is expensive. I don't believe in a game where you have to pi 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 for items, uh, pay for items and subscribe. You either take a subscription or you pay for items in my opinion. You don't do both. Doing both is very greedy. Why I don't own it. Well, saying I own it is also a different statement. You never own anything on iRacing. Yo, guys! Pie and rice! Exactly! Pie and rice! Pie and rice! Well, I had pie and chips tonight because it's chippy tea. I like chippy chips. That's a good. Okay, Matt. Good day, sir. High on a roof? What? A rule? What's a rule? dollars per track. You nearly buy Gran Turismo Sport for that sometimes. It's not fast like this, but it'll do.
okay finish I guess. It'll do. Can get 54 though to be honest. Yeah I've got the PCOS 2 Deluxe Edition twice. Twice! Oh no, collector's edition, sorry. Wasn't it it looks like a thousand pounds? Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, here he is. Everyone was mentioning about LZR Thomas earlier on. Here he is. He's in the house. Yeah. What's up? Hey, Storm's in here. I've not seen Storm in here before. Veloce Storm. Got an Audi teammate in here actually, in the uh, Gurn Knudley. Oh yeah, Ray Brig, I remember that. I got it for 70 quid, I think. I remember that very well. Well, Kelsa's in here as well, I did not notice. Good luck to anyone in this lobby. Let's see if anyone got DC'd and just obliterated the points. No, we're all here. What have we got, point wise? Not very much. So, that means uh, LZR Lewis is getting the 40 points in EMEA. I am inside Ed again. Why am I always inside Ed? Need a toilet as well now. A bit annoying, never mind. Why did I run wide there? Stupid game. I realised it was on the exit, by the way, guys. That's why I got the penalty. You can't type. Me, generally. So we'll do what we did before. Straight out. Fast as we can round. Fuel burn a little bit at the end. In the pits. Go out again. Okay. Sh outlap. Boom. Flyer. See what happens. If we get a slipstream, it'd be bonus, but it's not the end of the world if we don't. Yellow flag. Who's binned it already? Grassa. Oh, okay. I'll move over. <laughs> Great fun. Well, I've got dirt on my tyres now, so I have to be a bit careful.
No, I've not done nations. You get a pen! You get a pen! Everybody gets a pen! Cheers, there he is. Nice to see you, mate. <laughs> lol dragon, lol. Oh, Zanny! Thanks very much, mate. Good luck, mate. Thank you. You are an absolute legend. Much appreciated as always, Zanny. Support this channel a hell of a lot, mate. And for a long time as well, actually. going to fuel burn after this corner. A little bit. I know you hate fuel burning guys, only a little bit. Storm sitting alongside me there. He loves making the to storm. Going out. I'm, I'm always worried about that time limit. I'd rather play it safe than be sorry and try and risk an extra little bit of fuel burning. Yeah, Lewis, you're still on 40 points, mate. This is 2932, I think. Jamie on a lap here, he is, oh my word.
Jamie's going to get a bit of slipstream here. Push his lap up. Here we go again. Being careful about the tyres, a little bit hurt. Plenty of time. Do we catch in Jomas? Oh, come on, Key, you're in the faster car, right? I ain't going, I ain't going past Jomas. If I can get a bit of slipstream here, I'll be happy. I'm worried about people behind though as well. Come on boys, let's go! We're all going to have cold tyres by the time we get round. Now I'm miles behind, I'm going to have to really push this slash UK. Kind of don't want to be in dirty air after the first corner. After that, I'll be happy. We'll see. Bit slow. Not in it. Just not in it, rip. But at least we still get a clean lap, so that was the bonus of this, I suppose. Gonna hold each other up now. They're holding each other up.
Terrible end to the lap. Terrible end. <sighs> John is still behind me. But I need to nip to I'll be back in a second. Fifty six one. Wow, that's a lap. P eleven. Oh no, we're starting in a really dodgy place. Damn it. P ten. Jamie's probably gonna get fired off to Narnia. Can the super get that time without slipstream? Just curious. <coughs> Told you other cars aren't far. No, just one other car, Lewis. <laughs> no, this is the proper race. It's my last race of the evening. Ugh. I mean, even if we did our six temps, we'd be starting in P7, which is right in the middle of the chicane anyway, so... Yeah, we're not in a good place, put it that way. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, GT Alex. That's what I'm going to do. Exactly what I'm going to do. Because Jamie starts right on the corner. From memory, right on the corner. I think I'm just before it. Like, literally just. Um, not sure how happy Jomas will be, because Key jumped him into the chicanes. Whereas Jomas was ahead, I'm not sure. If you stay, if you start behind somebody, it's uh, a bit bad. Draw it towards. Oh, right, there must have been an issue there as well. You're here in Atlanta. Reminds me of the rock thing. Uh, where's it go? Here in Atlanta. If we'd had slipstream, we'd have got further up the grid, but at the end of the day, we're just doing it for a bit of fun, aren't we? Uh, yeah, 20 past nine. Well, Ed had a really good result in the last race. He's now starting P17. In fact, both Mercedes are at the back. Ah, oh, it's just the, uh, if you start behind someone in quali, then overtaking him during quali can be seen as um, bad, bad etiquette, I suppose. Especially coming up to the handling section where Jomas needs his arrow. Um, I don't know. It's my personal opinion. I would just bump Jomas all the way. It's Bit of one and the other, to be honest. It's it really dependent on the individuals. I personally wouldn't like it. Others don't mind. Can you just see us in the distance? Woohoo! Shout out to uh, LZR Thomas as well with the Ferrari. That's a good effort. That has been one of the most half-assed liveries I've ever seen. <laughs> I thought Lazarus meant to be pink! Uh, right. 
Last race, let's see what we can do. Yes, place your bets now. How many penalties in this race? It was 18 in the last one, but there were 20 drivers. We now have 18 races, so let's see. No, Tidge, we can't spot Yeah. <laughs> Are you suggesting they're not red for right? Maybe 20. They can't be 20. <laughs> what about red dots here as well, guys? Red dots. Good luck there, Matthew. I'm not a master at this track. I absolutely bloody hate this off. Well, only because of the track limits that we've got here. Yeah, we've no idea how long the contract actually lasts. We'll find out, I guess. Cheers guys, let's see what happens. Cheers Blazer. Only for the start guys. I have no idea where I'm starting. I have a feeling it's just before the chicane. And I have a funny feeling Jamie's starting bang on the chicane. Rip to Jamie, but we'll find out. So Jamie managed it this time. Come on, Jamie. Let's go, son. Jamie, give him your slip. Give him your slip, Jamie. Come on, Jamie. Get the vote. We could do being ahead of Jamie there. Just because it's the handling section, but never mind. 
Is it behind for this one? It's a scary place to go. On the green bit. If I could get around this very, very quickly. Come on, Jamie, where are you, lad? I need you. Oh, in slipstream here. Great driving by Jamie and unfazed hit. Really smart. Careful and phased. Still keep us there, mate. Look at this. What the hell am I meant to do? <laughs> oh my word. Come on. Oh god, this is going to end in disaster. I'm sure of it. Okay, I'm wrong. Could be catching the uh, le the bigger pack up ahead.
all these cars have just massive top end speed and I, I can't really get past them without a serious dive somewhere so if we're going to do it it'll have to be last lap oop cheers and face I don't know where to go though I'm not, I'm not chanting that oh no Ugh. everyone being so close that's my fault Still getting a bit scrappy here. It was my fault though, that. We really need to bumper draft each other now if we want to get up to the next pack. I can't really do much here. I really can't do much. Look, they just take off. Yeah, that was my fault into that chicane. At least we've all survived. Don't have to worry about it now. I've got the handling section sorted, but <laughs> I just can't use it. Everybody! <laughs> I can't do anything! <laughs> oh, never mind. And a lot less penalties this time as well. Ooh, that could be a penalty. Surely that's a penalty. They, they ran well wide. I ran that wide. Yeah, penalty. No? Okay. Continue on. Oh, key's gone. Right, I need to... Uh, I need to stick with unfazed now. I need to stick with unfazed. Somehow. We're just... Oh, <laughs> come on. Stay with him. Penalty up ahead. Oh, two penalties. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's a big penalty for him faced. Big, big penalty. And Jamie. And in front as well. Oh, my word. Okay. Let's go. Oh, this big... Oh, this big battle's going... <laughs> Here we go, lads. Here we go. Well, that could be a penalty. I did put that up quite a lot.
Oh dear lord, that's tight. Oh, a bit deep. Oh, I can't do anything here, guys. I can't do anything. Wow, what a move by Unfazed. Fair play. Don't know how he managed that, but fair play. I couldn't really do much there. I was stuck right in the middle. A snake going. That is really frustrating. That I had to back out because of what I didn't want. What happened to Belling to me? That's annoying. That is annoying. Oh, I had to really just. I lost the place there. I could have had P5. could have had P5. I literally had to completely back out because literally if I touched Snake I'd have got the penalty. Ah, oh, it should have been more, should have been more. Problem is guys, if you literally watched, if you literally watched uh, the replay earlier on, I mean I'll show it again just so you've got an idea. Um. I had to completely back out of it with the uh, snake, and I'll show you the reason why with Bellin. Um, uh, so, Kelsa's got red ass, red ass, red ass. You don't get one for that. You don't get one for mounting that turn. We'll, we'll take 2-1. No idea where that puts Audi in the grand scheme of this. I mean, Lamborghini's ahead of us there. I don't know. Moira and Belly had another fantastic battle, it looks like. I'll show you why I backed out of it, though. For those that weren't here earlier. So, crazy. That's our best result for that. Was barmy. So, if I... Uh, the move will buy on phase, though. Fair play. I mean, he's, he's judged it right. Red S means your air safety rating's gone down. Hang on. Which, wh which one did I load? I loaded the new one, didn't I? I wanted to load the old one. Ah, uh, you bugger. Uh, can I just come out of that and go back in? I want to show you the reason why I, I delayed. Oh. And then you, and then some of you might understand why who've just joined. Because there is a genuine reason why I, I delayed there. And I was trying to see what Snake would do. So it, di it did cost us, but... Yeah. I mean, we how many positions did we gain on that last lap? Jeez, we were P... what? 11? 12? 10? But yeah, it was, a, it was a great move unfazed. Really great move. If you're in chat, by the way, I saw someone tag you, so it was a great move. I was a bit scared of it at first, but yeah, you made it work. So, you know, fair play. Uh, right, so I wanted to show you this one. This is the one I wanted to load, not the other one. Is there a team racing in the manor? No. Because uh, it's always a, uh, is it a quarter or a third of races count, Daniel? So, um, yeah, it's just, I think it's a quarter, isn't it? So, it's 2.5 
after 10, so that's 3 technically. Um, so the next time, so when we do race number 5, it then goes to 2. Well, let me show you quickly what happened in the first race, which is the whole reason why I was so conscious about going anywhere near Snake. The minute I saw him outbreak him, I knew it. And I was just like, oh. It did cost. Oh, not this again. There we go. What happened to Grass when you ever got? I don't actually know. But uh, that was a good race. It was a good race. We raced smart. You know, me, Jamie, and Unfazed raced really smart. It wasn't stupid overtakes. It wasn't side by side. It was just let the lead car go. We'll stay behind. We'll catch up to people. I'm not sure what happened to Key in that. I'm, I think he must have hit the curb wrong, but. You know, it's just stay smart, let's go, bang, 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 and, you know, P P6 at the end of the day and on this track for the Audi is actually really good. I've got to look at the positives here. It's actually really good. So this is the first race, once it gets rid of the stupid stuff. Yeah, this is replay from earlier, so I'm going to show you why I was so, um, or very safety conscious. I could have shut my head and floored it. I could have, but I didn't want to ruin the work that I had. Yeah, I lost a position, I suppose. Or well, technically, I gained it. Uh, it kept the same position because Snake lost out. But, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll show you why. His one second is actually not as bad as what Belling gets in this race for something that wasn't him. And it's, it's, exa it's the exact same situation, except Snake sort of half saved his, whereas uh, Moira didn't in the situation. As we get there. Well, great job on the win, Arden. 19th to the first. Give it a second. So we're going to get on board with Bellin as fast as we can. Uh, wait, it's Bellin. There, it's Bellin. So. Right, um... So, we're just getting to... I know this is annoying, guys. So this is why I was so safety conscious, right? So I want you to watch it from here. Watch what happens. It's that same scenario. So imagine Snake's ahead, I'm here. Approaching. I didn't, I didn't go for the move, so imagine I stay here because I don't have enough top-end speed. That same scenario, Moira outbreaks himself, comes into it. Now watch this. Belling got complete rock block. Slight tap. Belling couldn't have gone anywhere. Look at the penalty coming up. Five seconds. I did not want that five second penalty. That would have put me way down. Which is why I was so safety conscious. So safety conscious. I mean, I felt so bad for Belling. But at least Moira and Belling had a second race. And they had a good race. Belling couldn't have done anything there. It wasn't Belling's fault. That's why I was so safety conscious. So we have a look at it from my perspective. We'll have a look at it. Um, we'll have a look what happened to Key. We'll have a look at what happened. We'll have a look at the move Unfazed did on me because that was bloody epic. I've no idea what happened with all the penalties and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll disappear for the evening because I've got to go and play. Well, not got to go and play, but I'm going to go and play cards. Show mine something. The good thing is we didn't get a penalty throughout that entire race. I didn't actually check how many penalties there were. <coughs> Yo, Bailey. Farming photography. Combine our rister, eh? Combine our risters. Tractors and all that, lot, eh? Yeah, so it's better as well in terms of penalties and stuff in that race. So people are to learn. We drove a much safer race. It actually helped our tyres massively. Because on that last lap, our tyres were perfect, really. 
because we were just slowing it down a little bit, breaking earlier, not as hard, our tyres were really good. If I'd have practiced a bit more, there was potential of more in the car, potential of getting even higher, but I'd say me, Jamie and Unfazed raced really smart there, so shout out to those guys. Jamie's just message, uh, put a message out there, so it won't be a second. Oh, that's what happened, Jomas. I was a little unsure why you'd lost it, but obviously that makes sense. Well, we'll, we'll follow it from your perspective, actually. So, where's Jomas? Uh, so, fast forward. Why? I have a hundred meg free! Looks like we can't watch that again. Oh, I don't believe that. So it's missed off the last lap, it looks like. Rip. Rip, 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 rip. Jomas, do you have the full replay? Oh, God. My head's actually hurting as well. I'll uh, upload the first one. I'm, uh, yeah, I am about to finish, so if anyone is going to go race, uh, good luck. Jomas, if you could upload that, that would be awesome. Um... Thanks to all these members, by the way, supporting the channel. If you just become a member, um, you'll eventually end up here. You also check out Discord. Um, but before you go, before anyone disappears, just hang on for one moment, please. One moment. One moment. I promise you it'll be worth your while, especially if you haven't watched the, uh, yesterday's video. Um, so I'm just going to upload this. Um, Berlin. Oh, oh, can't spell. Why am I doing that? Just <laughs> type tids, you pleb. Uh, robbed. Berlin robbed. Berlin. Oh, robbed. Right. Okay. So while that's doing that, guys. So I have a Discord below. Okay. Uh, and you may have seen the video yesterday. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, the championship has now been um, unveiled. Um, it's available for you to sign up to. Um, so that video is on there. It's called Mini uh, Announcement and Details of uh, Mini Madness, which is the championship. But as I disappear, I want you to watch the intro again, because I think the intro is amazing. Make sure you sign up if you haven't already. It's going to be bloody good fun. I don't care what your driver rating is, as long as it's above 2,000. Um, you should be able to race other like-minded people in this championship. So, it's going to be it for me. So, thanks for tuning in, guys, as always. Um, take a look at this introduction uh, and have a great rest of the weekend. I am streaming tomorrow, Best of British, so tune in for that one. That's going to be it for me. <laughs>